F1 is a sport where many people fail, some because of luck, others because they're just rubbish. Today I'll be looking at one person in particular who failed in F1, but went on to be one of the best drivers in Formula E, John Eric Verne. Jean Eric Verne, also known as JEV, was born on the 25th of April 1990. Alan Prost was the reigning world champion, and Riccardo Patrese had just won the last race in Imola 12 days prior. Now, in the present day, he's a two time Formula E champion, but from 2012 to 2014, he was a Formula One driver for Toro Rosso. First, let's look at how he got there. John Eric Verne started karting at the age of four at his dad's kart circuit. He entered his first competition at the turn of the millennium and became the French champion in the kids category in 2001. In 2004, he came second place in the French Rotax Max Championship. The next year, in 2005, he came second again in the ICA class of the European Championship, missing out to James Calado, which is not all that bad. In 2006, his final year of karting, he came 7th in the KF1 World Championship, where the winner was Marco Ardigo, who I have never heard of, but looking at his results in recent years, doesn't look like a bad person to lose to. In his first year of racing cars, Verne decided to compete in what is now known as the French Formula 4 Championship. He won by 89 points and got 10 podiums out of 13 races that season. At the end of the season, he, he signed on to be with the Red Bull Junior team, which, as you know, might not be a good idea. In 2008, he competed in both the Euro Cup Formula Renault 2.0 series and the Formula Renault West European Cup, driving for SG Formula. In the Euro Cup, he came sixth where the winner that year was Valtteri Bottas and the runner-up was Daniel Ricciardo. He was the highest placed rookie. In, f in the Formula Runner 2.0 West European Cup, he scored three podiums out of 15 races, but came fourth in the standings behind Daniel Ricciardo, Roberto Meri and Andrea Caldarelli. In 2009, he stayed in both championships and continued to drive for SG Formula. He came second behind Alberto Costa in both of them. He got nine wins across both competitions. In 2010, Verne graduated to British F3 where he raced for Carlin. He took 12 wins out of the 24 races that year and even got a clean sweep at Spa, winning all three races there. In 2011, Verne entered the Formula Renault 3.5 series where he narrowly lost out to Robert Wickens by just 9 points. At the end of that season, he was called up to be a Formula 1 driver for the 2012 season, driving for Toro Rosso with Daniel Ricciardo. In the 2012 season, Vern scored his first points in only his second F1 race, finishing 8th in Malaysia. His next 5 races were average, just finishing outside the points each time until the European Grand Prix in Valencia where he stupidly crashed into Heike Kovalainen, giving him a 10 position double penalty to his qualifying result at the next race and a €25,000 fine. Apart from that, his debut season was not really that special, only getting three more point finishes all in 8th place in Spa, Korea and Brazil, finishing in 17th. He finished one place above his teammate Daniel Ricciardo. In his next season, 2013, he got three points finishes that year, a 10th at Malaysia, an 8th at Monaco, and a best place 6th at Montreal, placing him 15th. His teammate, Daniel Ricciardo, however, got seven points finishes throughout the year and finished 14th place. Daniel Ricciardo got the call to Red Bull at the end of the season, following Mark Webber's retirement. So, for the next year, jean eric Verne was paired up with Daniel Kvyat.
2014 was the year Vern had to shine, because if he didn't beat Kvyat, he'll most likely lose his drive. Long story short, he did beat Kvyat, but he lost his drive. Even with Vettel's departure from Red Bull, Kvyat got called up to replace him instead of Vern, and when he lost his drive, he jumped ship to the newly formed Formula E series. In conclusion, he lost the potential to be a Red Bull driver by luck. In my opinion, I think he got robbed, and going from an F1 redeck to a two-time Formula E champion is an indicator of what could have been.